Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the future of two of our best players. After speculation and talk in recent weeks that their future could lie away from Celtic. One significantly more potential in it than the other, but we've had some very positive news. More positive than what maybe we expected. So let's talk about that. Hello, welcome back. Make sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. A little bit of news to talk about today. Some positive news to fill the gap between today and tomorrow's preview for that derby on Saturday. But we'll wait till tomorrow to focus on that game. Today, let's talk about our players and their future with Celtic. After a couple of stories breaking in the past 24 hours, that is a, a really positive update on, on what could have been a kind of uncertain future for them. Can I just stress and highlight that point that I made in the intro because I have made it my aim not to get too worked up on any rumours or speculation in the last few months. I'm dealing with things as they come in the summer. One of the players was far more serious than the other. Um, we'll start with the one that I didn't think had to have much reading into. Rio Hitati. Let's start with him because, as I said on the channel the other day, I was trying to put everything to bed and it's good to see it all put to bed by the man himself in the newspapers last night. Um, Rio Hitati, of course, was linked with a move away from Celtic. He was off, he was away to Brighton, he was already signing contracts and stories were put together by every Poirot in Glasgow um, over the past couple of days after that photo of him emerged at an airport, but Rio Hitati himself is confirmed. There's nothing to look into. It was all uh, a little bit of nonsense, and um, I'm glad for that. And as I said in the channel the other day, it's exactly what I expected. People were making a mountain out of a molehill, all off the back of one photograph. Could have been in the, the airport for anything, but Rio Hitati's came out, he's commented on the scenario, and it's good to have a little bit of reassurance from, well, he's been one of our best players this season, hasn't he? So, in the Herald last night, it was reported that, that Rio Hitati had commented on the airport situation and his future with Celtic. This is what Mr. Hitati had to say. He said, well, you can leave me alone, maybe. It's not a big deal. People are reading too much into it. I had my personal things, so I had to be away from the team. But that's all. Nothing else. I wasn't at the Brighton game. I watched it on the television in my house. The main thing is that I play for Celtic. This is where I am and it is where I'm focusing on for the rest of the games. It's almost as if that people with half a brain could have guessed that, you know. That that was that was the situation all along. I think we're just all a little bit guilty of getting into silly season, some more than others. Um, I think we all get a little bit guilty sometimes that when it comes up to the January, not the January, the summer transfer window, the end of the season, that players could be leaving after a very impressive campaign. Of course, we're a club where it's it's quite easy for big sides to poach players from, sides with more money, I should say, to, to kind of come in and poach your best talents. And Hitati's obviously had the, the, one of the best seasons you could imagine here at Celtic. So it would only be, be you know reasonable to suggest that, that clubs will be looking at him and, and they will be pursuing opportunities if the, they are there but this whole palaver that was started on Twitter and social media off the back of one photograph at an airport um, really got on my nerves and you can see by Rio Hitati's comments here it's probably got on his nerves a little bit people looking too much into it and creating a story out of absolutely nothing confirming that the reason that he was away was was personal reasons it could have been anything i'm not going to speculate it's not my place it's not anybody's place but i hope everything is good for mr hitati i hope that it's fine i hope he was back home enjoying that brighton game um, and i hope that's the only time he'll be watching brighton in the near future let's let's keep him here yeah let's let's focus here but as he said he is focused here and he's, he's looking at the rest of the season so it's good to hear and look listen he's a player with considerable amounts of talent he's got such an ability that he will go to a, a high level one day i'm prepared to see rio hitati leave celtic i hope it's not anytime soon for all we know it could be in this summer's transfer window i hope not and i don't think it will be 
But if he does leave, he leaves. But you, this is a kind of story that we need to learn from. Every time that something like that happens, it doesn't need to be a big palaver. It doesn't need to be that he's off joining some side or away discussing contracts. These things happen. They are human beings. They can travel. They can use their personal time to do as they like. God, he's got all the money he could want. Um, if he's treating himself, that's fine. Um, but, you know, in future... I just hope we don't cause a stir. Everything's good at Celtic at the minute. The vibes are great. We're heading into party season with a trophy day coming up, a potential treble coming up. Let's just keep the vibes good. Rio Hitati is keeping the vibes good, and that's all I need. In the same article, Rio Hitati actually goes on to talk about the Champions League next season, another promising sign that he wants to stick around and be here for um, that sort of development in Celtic and the evolution of Ange Postecoglou's side. So, you know, he thinks if we, we get that little bit of ability in the final third and and that just that that cutting edge that the the other sides had. If we get that, we can certainly compete next year. That was his words, and I totally agree with him. I think that's where we are as a club at the moment. I think we just need that last bit of quality, and then there's no reason why we can't compete um and at a European level. So let's talk about the other player. Who was the other guy who's gave us a little bit of reassurance over the past 24 hours? Well, it's none other than Lee Labada, who's also been linked away um from Celtic in the past couple of months, and to I, I would say a more considerable amount. Um, and probably a more realistic amount, actually. Um, I think that we've all kind of looked at the comments being said from, from the Israel national boss, from people at his old club, and from even Abad himself when he spoke about his, com his contract in, in January. And I think we've pieced together a possibility of, of Abad leaving, a more realistic one, and one that we're probably more ready for than, than the likes of Rio Hitati. But Leo Abad has came out, and, and he's spoke about his future at Celtic, providing an update that... You know, it could be just to keep us happy and please the fans, but one that seems a little bit different from what I certainly would have expected. So in Football Scotland, this was the quote Slayer Abada said, I don't care about what the newspapers or media say, I just care about how to improve every day, how to get better for the team, and how to give 100%. I'm focused on getting the free trophies, and this is the most important thing now. I am really happy at Celtic. Everyone looks after me and tries to help me get better. My relationship with the players and staff is very good, so I'm really happy here. There is no rush. I have time. Right now, we just focus to finish the season strong and this is the most important thing so Abada really stressing the point here that he is very happy at Celtic at this moment in time um, and why wouldn't he be I suppose you know we can talk about maybe wanting a bigger move or, or, or taking his career to the next level but you know being at Celtic right now is a very happy place to be winning trophy after trophy game after game playing in European football you know Celtic's an ideal destination for any young player to come at the moment and, and trying to develop their game they've got a really talented manager and Ange Postecoglou with players around them who are very very good yeah this is the ideal place to be if, if the, the right move isn't there and I think Leal Abada probably does realise that I think that deep down he'll know that Celtic is a place he doesn't need to rush out of for no reason there's so many players who have who have rushed out of Celtic or rushed out the or, or kind of league or whatever and it's not quite worked out for them maybe they were just too rash too cocky and and it's just not fell right for them um, and it could be because they went to a team who's not so great and those teams have struggled and, and obviously that's took a dent on their career. So there's no rush out the door for Lee Labada. And I'm glad that he's stressing the, the, the point that he's, you know, happy here. And he doesn't want to listen to what the, the media is, is obviously drumming up. I think the only thing with Lee Labada is the fact that we've heard so many quotes from people who would appear to be close to him. You know, the Israel national team manager... The, the 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 former president of his, his former side over in Israel as well. You know, these are guys you'd expect to be quite close. So when you hear them say things that are, you know, a baddest contract has 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 been discussed, they might move on. You know, there's a bit more there to kind of believe because you'd imagine there is some form of communication between them. So what I will say is I would love to see a badder stay and I hope he does stay. I don't want any of our players to leave really. Um, we've got such a harmony at our side right now that I want things to stay together as as much as they can. But what I will say is, Abada is happy right now and I, I think he will remain happy and I think he'll be happy to stay. But if the right offer did come to him, I think he is in a position right now where he's more than entitled to, to explore his options if something comes up. But I think it's good to hear that he's not going to just rush or jump into anything that might go, you know, bellies up. 
Um, I think that if he can sit and evaluate his options and see what the best thing is to do, that might be something that keeps him at Celtic. He might think that that is the best option. He's so young, he's got so long to go, he's got so long left in his contract here at Celtic as well, another three years on it. Um, he could stay here for another year or two and just take his game even further to better himself and, and better those opportunities beyond Celtic. Um, but once again, like Hitati, it's one of those ones that in the summer, if something comes calling and he goes, I wouldn't be shocked. But I'm glad that he's happy here. I think he spoke on the fact that it makes him unhappy that so many people have kind of turned against him. And I have noticed that. So many people are like, got that same opinion that they always do when somebody foreign wants to leave Celtic. You know, this is, oh, they don't care, get them out. You know, blah, blah, blah. Look, this is a guy that owes nothing to Celtic in, in regards to, you know, under, like unending loyalty. He's allowed to move on. Um, and, and these sort of moves for players like him are, are for a reason, you know, they're for development and to take them to a next level. It's just sadly the position we're in, and I hate seeing people turn again. I hate people saying, oh, don't bring Abada on, or, or Abada shouldn't be involved, or yeah, blah, 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 you know, things like that, because there are people like that. I just think it's so bitter, and it gets us nowhere, it gets nobody nowhere, really. He's such a talent, you don't want to waste a talent like that. Um, so I hope he gets a good involvement from now till the end of the campaign. I hope he's got his say in, in Derby Day and the Cup Final. Um, and I would love to see him stay at Celtic um, for as long as possible. So yeah, that's that's about it. Um, for the news, some good news, some unexpected news maybe in the fronts of a, a bad day anyway. But very expected news with Ryu Hitati. As I drilled in the other day in my video, nothing in that. But aye, that'll kind of do us for today. Tonight at Celtic Park, get yourselves along if you can. It's the Celtic versus Glasgow City women's uh, SWPL game. Um, a big game for the, the women's side, of course. And also an opportunity for the Celtic fans and us to, to show off what a potential full standing section could be like at the Celtic end. Um, that's getting trialled this evening, if you like. Um, so get yourself along. It'll be great, good atmosphere. I'll be there um, and go and cheer on the girls. But aye, there's your news, there's everything for today, we'll be back tomorrow to talk about the Derby, and then obviously Saturday we'll review said Derby, so yeah. Like and subscribe, I'll see you all next time.